Hi everyone, it's Terry here sharing another process video for Bramble Fox and today I'm using the Cheers to a New Year set and also the 2021 with the arrow which is from this month's Fox Box. I'm using this Cheers cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files uh, which I'm just backing in a yellowy mustard patterned paper um, which is out of my hip kit club. So I'm simply just drawing around it and then uh, cutting it out. Um, quite a simple way of using a cut file, just backing it with a patterned paper and I'm going to add it flush to the background. So I just use some regular um, wet PVA style glue. This is a Tombow that I use. It does have a, a, a finish applicator um, so I don't get it around too much. Um, and there we have my finished uh, cut file. So I'm just adding some foam squares to the back um, so that it'll be popped up on my page when I uh, add it. So I've got these two photos that are actually from uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, we sat outside in the snow um, drinking Prosecco. So I'm going to use this stripy patterned paper uh, which is again from this month's Hip Kit Club Kit um, as the base and this kind of sparkly snow style uh, page as the top section and um, I'm trying to use a little bit more patterned paper and less white cardstock as the base of my uh, layouts this year and um, I just want to have a bit of a, a different effect so this stencil um, is an exclusive from Bramble Fox that I got at a GoGo -Go getaway retreat but you can get a full star sunburst starburst type one um, in the shop um, so instead of it just being half, it's a whole um, circle so that you could use that the same way. So I've used um, two different colours through the stencil, just with a blending tool, um, just a light pink and a light blue. I'm just deciding where I want to put everything. Um, I'm going to stick the Cheers to a New Year perspective over the Cheers cut file and then so that it is over my uh, photos as well. So I'm just adding some small pieces of foam to the back of the uh, perspective so that it sticks up um, and is in line with the cut file. So I'm just deciding where to add the rest of uh, my perspective. So I've got this fun champagne bottle that says 2021 um, a couple of wine glasses and then the obviously the 2021 perspective so i decided that i wanted to add some more um texture to this layout um so i decided i was going to stitch some lines um that were the same as the stencil this would have been so much easier to have done um, before I stuck everything down uh, but as you can see things don't always uh, go smoothly so I've just pulled out um, my threads um, and you'll see um, I do it off camera um, and then in the next part of the video there are some more lines and they're done with uh, like a light pink thread so at the top of either the thread or the stencil ink lines i'm just adding some light pink sequins to add a bit of a a bit of bling make it look a bit like fireworks um so that it looked looks a bit celebratory things haven't quite gone to plan to the start of this year but you know we have to take the the small wins and this was a nice evening that i managed to spend with my mum because we're a support bubble um celebrating in the garden I'm just adding in those glasses and um, it's very simple 
um, decoration, this layout. I've used lots of perspectives, so I've actually pulled out some of these mirror stars that were from an older set, I believe. Um, I absolutely love the stars and hearts that you can get in the shop. Um, they're always a staple that Morag has in stock, um, and I can't stop using them on everything. So I'm just uh, bringing in this uh, chipboard piece that is a house with a bit of a snowy uh, scene to it and I'm trying to decide whether it'll fit somewhere because um, I just want to add something else to it so it's time for a bit more stitching so in order to bring that top section um, into the bottom half I decide to stitch some of the kind of like um, stars through so I've just made um, eight holes kind of in a circular pattern and then I'm just stitching through to create like little bursts um, just to kind of add a bit more texture something a bit different but also tie it into that top half where I've got the patterned paper and also uh, the stitched lines and you can see a close-up of those in the photos at the end of the video so I'm just adding my journaling now at the bottom in that little space and then that's my layout finished thank you for joining me today over on YouTube check out uh, the Bramble Fox friends facebook group and instagram for further inspiration from the rest of the design team and i'll pop links below um, to where to find everything thanks again